Hey friends, Tux here, and I got something super duper new and super duper cool today. It is the brand new from Tokidoki, Murakornos. Yeah, baby, you know what this is. This is, last time in the series of Tokidoki, they had one unicorn, a uh, mermaid unicorn, and it was so popular, they decided to go ahead and make a whole series of mermaid unicorns. So there's a total of eight to collect, and they're on the package here. You see two there, two here, two here, and two up here. And I have to admit, as cute as they all are, the one thing which I was kind of hoping for a split second was I was hoping this jellyfish was actually one of the collectible characters because it is super duper cute, man. I would love to have a Tokidoki jellyfish. Hint, hint, Tokidoki, if you're watching this video, man, make a jellyfish. But um, anyway, really cool packaging. I mean, blown away, super cool plastic. I guess it's to try and help kind of recreate the idea that's underwater, perhaps. And also, one side benefit of having the clear packaging is the fact that you can see the great branded bag on the inside and of course you know a branded bag is really a sign of of love from the supplier that Tokidoki really they care about their product and they're willing to spend that little bit of extra money to make a really cool inside bag even if you can't see it although this time heck yeah baby you can see it so that's cool so anyway this great collection we have eight to collect and the back here talks a little bit about the Murakornos on uh, one special night a group of unicorns were flying in the direction of the falling stars the falling stars disappeared into the sparkling sea which transformed them into starfish. Wow, okay, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but there is a super long-winded explanation of exactly how mermaid unicornos came to be. You can read it right here if you want to pause. Um, but wow, this is like like a book or something. <laughs> That's the legend of the murakornos. Yes. Um, anyway, <laughs> really cool, guys. I'm going to laugh if I try and read this whole thing. Um, Let's go ahead and open this up without further ado. Oh, 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 real important, guys. At the end of this video, I have a Mew code to give away. Yes, one of our viewers, Kitten, has supplied us with a Mew code. She had an extra code, which is really generous of her, that she's going to go ahead and uh, she gave me the code. And it's going to be first come, first serve. I'll show the graphic at the end of this video. So if you need a 3DS, and that's Pokemon, Alpha Omega, XY, Mew code. Um, we're going to have one at the end. So first come, first serve. First person who needs it, who enters it, gets it. And you'll have a Mew in your game. That's pretty cool. So thank you, Ken, for that. And if you guys ever have extra codes or whatever, um, definitely shoot them my way. That'd be fantastic. I'm happy to help kind of get them out to the community for someone who might need one. But um, all right, so let's go ahead and open this up here. I'm going to try and be careful here with the packaging in case we get doubles. You know, doubles I give away in giveaways. And, of course, there is a new giveaway starting pretty soon. Right now, we are doing advanced entry for it. So even in this very video, you can say, enter me and get your name in the hat for a chance to win some cool prizes. And I'll have a list of or a description of those exact prizes coming up very shortly in the next week or so, including dates and everything else, too. I'm still kind of working on the giveaway, but it is definitely in the running. It's, it's going to happen, guys. And we'll have more information real soon. Now, the packaging of Tokidoki, one weird thing about Tokidoki is sometimes they kind of like cut their packaging a little weird. And this one is no exception. It's like, it looks like it's not resealed, I know. But it's kind of weird how they uh, they put so much care into this. But then they can't cut them evenly, which is a little odd. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and open this up here and see what our first Murakono. Oh, yes! This is my favorite one. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Check out that cute little crab in its hair as a little, like, a little pinchy hair piece. That is super adorable, man. I didn't even notice that in the, the graphic here. I just seen the red. I didn't really think about being a crab. But that is so cute. Check that out. Oh, my God. That is absolutely adorable. Love it. And I will definitely cherish this as part of my unicorn collection. Loving the crab, guys. That is really, that is ridiculously cute. All right, so that is one for today. And of course, we have a second one we're gonna open right now. Now, I've heard from some people um, actually in Italy, we're talking about the um, some of the Hot Topic things. And I guess it's really expensive to buy in Hot Topic um, in other countries. So hopefully it's a way of getting these in other countries. So if you have a favorite store where you buy these, let me know in the comments below where you buy your uh, Unicornos Tokidokis from if you collect them. Um, for me, it is usually Hot Topic, but I know Radar Toys online can get them. I'm not sure what their shipping rate is to Italy, but um, that is one place I've gotten Tokidokis from. All right, let's go ahead. Number two, I see the color is different. Let's see what it is. Oh, it is the one in the front. Very, very cute. We got a cute little sail ship there. A nice little pearl necklace on her. Really nice. Nice blue hair. Looks like a little, I guess it's an earring. I almost going to say like a hole, but it looks like an earring. Loving the metallic kind of reflective blue tail. So cute, man. And check out the hair. It's got like a little anchor. Very nice. 
All right, guys. Well, I'm loving this collection already. I hope you guys are enjoying checking it out too. And if you guys open some Muracornos, <laughs> let me know which ones you get, okay? And um, thank you very much for watching this video. We just passed 4,000 subs again, so I want to say thank you very much for that, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you are new to the channel, I do have some sub channels. I have Tux Reviews, my review channel, which are review all sorts of crazy things. I'm from gaming hardware to weird miscellaneous home things, um, sometimes even clothing stuff. Just um, anything that doesn't fit on my other channels ends up on Tux Reviews. And there's some of my earliest toy reviews on Tux Reviews. If you go back far enough, you can see uh, where I first started and the quality was a little shakier and whatnot, but um, you can check out some of my early reviews. There's Figmas, there's all sorts of cool stuff on there. My Little Ponies, lots of cool stuff. So anyway, check that out. I also have Gamer Tux, a game ch channel, which is kind of like in beta, if you will. If you want to be involved in checking to see this thing evolve into a more uh, bigger game channel, let me know. You guys can, of course, go to Gamer Tux and sub and check it out. And I do giveaways on there too like I've been giving away quite a few Pokemon codes so if you're into that uh, check it out also that channel is going to be primarily a Pokemon Go channel but I may do some indie stuff and some less plays and stuff too as time goes on but anyway if you're into Pokemon Go lots of Pokemon Go news and stuff appears on Gamer Tux okay and finally be sure to check out Tux Toys on Instagram and Twitter for previews of upcoming videos and sometimes I have some cool slice of life stuff too my cat which usually seems to appear in these videos is so tired today she's actually sleeping on my my well uh plushie and you can actually see that picture on on the uh, Instagram for Tux Toys, okay? All right, my friends, thank you very much again for watching this video. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.